Howdy. In this video, we're going to step through how to use your CAS calculator to find a regression line using the least squares regression method and then use the equation of that line to actually estimate the value of y when we know the x value. So, first step is we'll use an example of 13 from your textbook in 9i. We need to bring up our calculator. And open up using the tab key to step through everything. Our list and spreadsheets page. In this video, I'll actually plug the numbers in, but uh, in future videos, I'll assume you know how to actually input data into the, the list and spreadsheets yourself. First step is obviously we need to label the columns. Surprise, surprise. Let's uh, label these ones x and y and now for the numbers one two excuse the bangs from the number input and 11 probably the biggest uh, apart from not knowing how to actually use a cast calculator is to actually plugging in the numbers wrong so it's important that you do check them after you have uh, Input them. One point six. And that finishes us off. So there we go. We've got the number flares air in. Our next step is the home button once again and this time we want to move across to the data and statistics page and then from here we want to actually set up our axes so label the x-axis label the y-axis and there we go there's our scatter plot once we have the scatter plot our calculator can actually calculate the uh, this squares regression line. To do that, nice and simple. The menu button, number four for analyze, number six for regression. Now we're doing the least squares regression method. Number one is our MX plus B, and it's a linear. And there we go. There's our equation. Y is equal to minus 0.13 X plus 1.99 rounded off. So let's get that onto our page before we actually forget it. Where's my pen? There we go. So y is equal to negative 0.13x plus 1.99. So using the CAS calculator, we've constructed our scatter plot. We've found the equation of the least squares regression line. In this course, we're not required to actually find the equation using the median median method. <coughs> so we don't have to worry about that. And we've already sketched the graph of the regression line via our CAS calculator. You may sometimes be asked in your test or exam to actually uh, plot it on paper. Luckily here we don't need to worry about it. So our next step is actually now that we've actually got the equation of the regression line, we actually want to find out well what's what's the value of y when x is equal to 4.5. And luckily for us, very easy to do using the calculator once again. So let's plug our calculator back up. First step, we want to get into our calculator mode. So the home button one it'll ask if you want to save it in this particular example no but sometimes you do want to save it and now we want to get to our calculator page to actually do this function of this step through here what we need is the solve function so we can move down to the menu three for algebra one for solve it's now a matter of typing in the formula of our equation y is equal to minus 0 
point one three eight. Oh. times x plus one point nine nine. That's our first equation. We also know that x is equal to 4.5 and we're trying to actually f find out what s y is a solve for y and from there when we do that we get the wrong answer. No we don't. So when x is equal to 4.5, y is equal to 1.405, we're going to round that off. So when x is equal to 4.5, y is equal to 1.4. So y is equal to 1 point, uh, we'll, we'll take it at two decimal points. All right, our second one now is when x is equal to 15, what's the value of y? Bring the calculator back up. Now you can type that uh, solve formula back in again, or if you really want the shortcut method, uh, highlight, push the enter button, and there it is. We can now move the cursor across to the initial x value, delete that, and put in our next x value, which is 15, push enter, and we now find this time when x is equal to 15, y is equal to 0 0.04. So when x is equal to 15, y is equal to 0 0.04. So there's our answer for those ones. Much easier when you do it by the CAS calculator than uh, line of best fit by eye. And also because the line of best fit by eye involves a little bit of guesswork, this is actually a lot more accurate as well. So there we go. I hope you've got it. See ya.